laggy buttons on the G-Shock range, man. GPR H1000 and laggy buttons on the GBD H2000. Laggy buttons is a subject today, guys, and it's caused some confusion on the channel because of, of how we describe the buttons. But let me just give you a demonstration as to what I'm talking about with lag. And we're going to use the word lag, but, but here's the problem, okay? This is the main time screen. And when you press forward or reverse, you go into the widget screen, okay? So, and, and, and you keep on pressing forward or reverse to scroll through the widget screen. Now watch this. I'm going to press forward 10 times, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we got the tide graph, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh widget down, right? It sh we should be at widget number nine, okay? Let me show you on the GBDH 2000. Same thing. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we made it to one, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't get as far, but I pressed the buttons even faster. Let's just do it one more time. I'm going to press this button ten times as fast as I can. Full presses, full releases. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got to Almanac. So how far along did we make it there? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, but you get the point. I pressed the button 10 times, not every press registered. And that's what I'm going to call laggy buttons. Even though lag to me would be like when you you press the button and it would say, please wait, right? So if I press compass, if I select the compass, it says, please wait. Because it has to, you know, boot up the compass and, and, you know, find the magnetic field, okay? So th this, that's why it was so confusing. Someone asked me point blank in the comments, do I find the buttons laggy? And I was thinking of that please wait screen. And I was like, yeah, just on compass. But now that I've showed you how there's a delay, we'll call that lag and we'll talk about uh, its problem. But uh, MF6532, MF Three two said, "Hi Jim, saw on your YouTube the first unboxing slash review of the new Range Man. Scrolling from one mode to another, it has a delay with a message. Please wait. Kind of reminds me of my wife old Subaru with CVT tranny. I wonder if that is going to be in every model. I guess you'll find out soon enough. Okay, like I said, that whole please wait is on the compass. When you go to when you press enter, you go to the exercise screen." So if you were to select walking, you'd have to please wait because it's going to boot up the GPS and then you have to wait for that. All right. I'm not, I'm, let me get, okay. But then like, if you go to gym workout, which does not require the uh, GPS, when you press enter, it says, please wait. I guess, I guess it has to boot up all that workout stuff. <laughs> so that's what I think of as lag is that type of delay where it says, please wait. Okay. And I think that most people can deal with that. It, it, it is annoying right, to have that please wait screen. One commenter likened it to, to using DOS, like this whole, this whole, both of these watches, by the way, have the same module inside pretty much. There's some, a few software differences, uh, like, like the range man has a tide graph. But it's the same thing. And the reason why mine screen looks a little bit different is that you can customize the watch face. And on the GBH2000, I customize this watch face a little bit to have this information. And I have not customized the range, man. I have not even connected it at all. You could see the screw is loose. So I had some problems with it. I'm going to send it back for warranty repair. So I, I haven't, I haven't uh, updated it. But... I don't think any uh, updates are going to solve this laggy button problem. Uh, I don't expect it to. We can look at it some more. But some guys have asked me in the comments about it. Like, uh, Egipsio Tube said, Hi, I have the GBH2000. These new Casios are beautiful and smart, but they are slow. Often I press the keys and nothing happens. 
or I forget some clicks. Does it happen to you too? And the word that I use was sluggish, okay? Dinah Harmony owns the GBDH 2000. He was not impressed with the range, man. But he just went ahead and bought the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. And I asked him, you know, what do you think? And he said that uh, with the ease of use, with the watch itself, the menus on the Garmin are easier to navigate and there isn't that lag that the GBDH 2000 have has when you press a button. Okay, so he used the word lag too. So that's what we're going to use to describe button lag, right? And the buttons are laggy. So to that commenter who asked me if I thought the buttons were laggy and I, I had said no at that time, yes, the buttons are laggy. That's the word we're going to use to describe it, okay? So here's here's what happened to me, which, which made me realize, all right, this is laggy, this is a problem, is that when, when you know, there's so many buttons that we press nowadays, you know, like on, on smartphones and, you know, mouse clicks and on computer keyboards and you kind of have a muscle memory for like what you're pressing. And so you end up pre trying to press stuff really quickly without even looking. Okay. So I, I, I park my uh, pickup at the gym and I'm, you know, I walk over to the gym and I press enter to start up, get to this screen for the exercises and it's a gym workout. So I walk in and I press enter and I'm like, all right, I'll get the stopwatch going. So I press it again. And I think that the stopwatch is going. And I'm, you know, I'm doing my workout at the gym and I look down and it, it hasn't recorded anything as a workout. And I'm like, what's going on? Now, the first time, it, or first few times it happens, I'm like, oh, I just forgot to press enter to start the workout. But after a few times of doing that, I realized, I'm like, no, I did press that, that enter to start the workout. I didn't look at the watch because I'm walking in and I'm just thinking, all right, I'm not even really looking at the watch. I'm like, okay, we're at the gym. Let's get the gym workout going and let's start it right now. Because I, I just walked through the door so fast that that's a workout, you know, I like walking in through the door of the gym you know, with a lot of like power and, and attitude, you know, you, that's essentially part of the workout. So a gym workout starts when you walk through the door, walking in as part of your warm up, And when you're done walking out, that's when you stop it. Okay. So anyways, it didn't register. Why? It's because of that button lag. When you press gym workout, please wait. You have to wait before you press it again. That's just beeping. Why is this beeping? Anyways, so you have to wait, okay? So now I've waited. Everything is calmed down. Now, now I can press start to get that workout going. And that, that's a problem, right? It's like you have to wait between each button press to do, to do anything. You have to be like a sloth. And, and the best thing that you can do you know, like, uh, between each button press, like you, like you don't want to, to press it too quickly. So between each button press, you have to have like, you know, some, some, some dumb little song in your head. You got to pretend like you're, you're a dim-witted, slow idiot to press the buttons. Like e between each button press, you have to sing like, dum -de 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 -da. you know what I mean? Let me show you. Dum -de 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 -da. Press the button. Stop. Dum -de 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 -da. Press the button. Dum -de 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 -da. Press the button. Dum -de 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 -da. Discard. Dum -de 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 -da. Back. Dum -de 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 -da. Back. Dum -de 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 -da. And now you're all set. So people, you know, at the gym looking over at me, you know, I'm over there like singing. I mean, really, you could sing it in your head, but the point is, like, you have to say something. I mean, it could be, like, one Mississippi, right? And I don't even think Mississippi's long enough. Let me try Mississippi. 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 Nope. It can't be Mississippi, right? You know how, like, when you play hide-and-go-seek, you have to say Mississippi between each number? Doesn't work here. The lag's so bad, you have to sing 
dum de dee dee da It has to be really slow, like like I, like I said, like you ate too much lead paint as a kid. All right, ready? Dum de dee dee da Dum de dee dee da Dum de dee dee da And that button didn't didn't register. I have this sneaking suspicion that the mud resistant buttons, like sometimes you press them, you think that you've got a press and it didn't actually press. I haven't had that problem on the GBH2000. The buttons on the GBH2000 aren't as robust. They're smaller, they're plastic, all right? But, but like every time I've, I think I've pressed the button, I have, all right? So, to go back to our first example, where you're going from the main time screen through the widgets, you have to sing dum da dee da I mean, you really do. Mississippi won't cut it, all right? Let me show you. dum da dee da 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 Oh, I need the almanac. dum da dee da Oh, but I need it for uh, May 8th. When the solar eclipse is. Dum de dee dee da. Dum de dee dee da. Dum de dee dee da. All right. That's how you have to do it. Because the dadgum buttons, like, they don't, they don't press quickly in between. What if I tried to do all that really quickly? I want to go to the almanac and see what, what, the, uh, what the sunrise and sunset is going to be on, on April 8th. All right. <clears throat> Just pressing like crazy. There we go. Just pressing like crazy. I went too far. All right, did anybody record how many button presses that was? It was like 50, right? And, you know, I don't even know if I got there any quicker than just singing dumb da dee da between each button press. All right, let's look closer at this, at this whole thing because it's like... Let me plug in my camera. This camera is so stupid. It is the Sony ZV-X. I forget the exact. I forget the like the exact model number, but it, it just it's already low on battery, so I may have to cut this video short. But anyways, so the buttons have like when you press the button, all right. You can either single press it. Let me use this one. So the light comes on, right? Oh, we're in the middle of workout. Let me get out of this. Dum de dee dee da. 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 All right. So we're in the main time screen, okay? So the light comes on when you press a button, right? So I'm just going to press it. See how easily that light came on? That proved that the, the module knows that the button was pressed, okay? When, when I first got the GBH2000, I'm like, these, these buttons are, like, not punchy. I wasn't using the word laggy at the time. But the buttons, like, you know, they were obviously not fast. And so I was thinking that maybe Casio sourced these buttons that, you know, maybe they got a deal on some cheap buttons and they don't, they, they, they don't press like the way that they physically register is not quick, but the light proves that it is quick because I'm going to press the light button. And as soon as I press it, you can see my finger, the light comes on, right? The problem is the time in between presses, it has to reset. It's very slow. So you can press a button once or you can long press a button right and it's like the button activates so i'm going to press forward which should bring us to the widget menu okay ready and it's kind of like the button registered after i let go to confirm that i wasn't long pressing it okay see it wasn't when i pressed it was when i just it, it's not it's not punchy right so you can long press a button, right? You long press the back button and it turns on the uh, the silent mode. I just learned that today. But it's kind of like this. The, the lag is, to, is for the module to determine if you are just quick pressing it or long pressing it. And until you get that confirmation, 
it won't let you press another button. Way too much lag. Anyways, yeah, so that's the thing. It's like, this enter button for me doesn't seem like it always registers. And it's just, I haven't, like, really caught it. Until this video, I haven't caught it, like, not registering. But besides these mud-resistant buttons, it doesn't, not registering, there is lag. Okay, and the lag just has to do with, it, like, in between presses, you can't press it a lot. It won't remember that, oh, you've pressed the button 10 times. Let me advance through 10, you know, 10 widgets or 10 integers if you're setting a parameter. And you can't long press a, a, a button to, uh, for, to advance quickly through a parameter. Let me show you. I'm holding down... The rev button, it's not even doing anything it's supposed to. There we go. So I didn't sing dum da dee da da before I long pressed, and you saw the jam that I got into. Anyway, setting. Physical setting. All right, I've lost weight. Yeah, 299 pounds. I need to update that. I've lost weight. Okay, so you'd think that you could hold down reverse and speed scroll down to 272 pounds. That's how much I weigh now. I've lost you know, 20, uh, 27 pounds, right? No, I've lost like uh, 32 pounds, right? I've lost a lot. Anyways, no, 32, what am I saying? 28. Anyways, uh, 27. 27, I've lost 27 pounds. Anyways, okay, I'm going to press uh, reverse to bring the weight down, okay? So you would think that you could hold down this button and that it would speed through. Wrong. I've pressed the button and it's not long pressing, so let me let go of the button. One integer. I can't advance the 100 spot, then the 10 spot, then, then the 1 spot. It's the whole integer, okay? So... I know the word integer, so you know that I'm not a total idiot, but it took me like a whole bunch of mental math just to figure out that I had lost 20, 27 pounds, right? So that shows you that I'm smart and stupid. All right. So now I actually have to press this button 27 times, right? Is that correct? I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even double check my own arithmetic. 272. You see how I have to do it? Dum de dee dee da. 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 All right, now I'm there. Pretty ridiculous, right? Now let me press enter. Dum de dee dee da. That actually took longer than the dum de dee dee da because I had to wait for that little check mark to go away. All right? But but you see how that how how that works, right? You can't. Say if I'm gaining weight, and let's pretend it's muscles. I've mysteriously gained 20 pounds of muscle in a one-month period. Totally legit. Totally legit. It was just creatine. All right, I'm going to press forward. Hold pr forward down. Nope. You're not gaining that weight. Sorry. All right, well, let me just give up. Okay, we'll give you one pound. I'm going to round up to 273. I'm pretty sure I'm 273 now because I, I kind of got hungry and I made this this meal that was like a bowl of fancy like marinara sauce, like spaghetti sauce. Italians don't let you don't let you say spaghetti sauce. That's what it was. It was like that eight dollar jar. It was on sale. Don't worry, I didn't spend eight dollars. But I put that in a bowl. Then I put a bunch of hard boiled eggs in there. Then I covered that in cheese, in shredded cheese, and then microwaved it for two minutes. I was at the man camp when I had this delicious meal. Uh, and I think that I think that it was just so much that I'm gonna round up to 273 pounds for my weight. Anyways, backing out. Dum de dee dee da, dum de dee dee da, dum de dee dee da, dum de dee dee da. All right, back to the main time screen. So that's the laggy buttons. I think that that uh, I think that I covered everything that I was going to say. That uh, you know, like the buttons, it can be infuriating. Let me just recap so I make sure I, that I actually did cover everything, but. Like the biggest problem that you're gonna face with with these laggy buttons is when you step into the gym and you're like, all right, I'm in the gym. Start the gym workout, get that going, 
All right. Did you start the stopwatch? No. Okay, now I'm going to hit it. Now you started it. Congratulations. It's like you have to be so deliberate with every button press that in between button presses, you have to say, dum dee 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 da But then, like, also to make sure that you deliberate, deliberately press the buttons, especially the enter button on the range man, you have to go, ah! dum dee 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 da dum dee 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 da dum dee 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 da ha ah! it's the only way it's really the only way so i you know the the thing about the range man that i really like is that it's like you can go from work to workout right or you're supposed to until this problem happened we you know with this band getting all loose like it was it was pretty cool having you know the mud resist because I, I work in an oil field. Like, look, it's still dirty, right? And then the GBH 2000 is, you know, a fantastic fitness watch from, from Casio. You just, you have to get used to that laggy buttons. dum de dee da dum de dee da dum de dee da See, it didn't, it didn't press. Maybe it's not the mud resist. Like, you would think that you could press that button right there. Because it said, please wait, please wait, went away. You guys saw me press the button and nothing happened. So you you have to do the rah. You have to like roar while pressing to make sure that you've pressed. Pretty frustrating. Anyways, I've been wearing the mud man to work. Back, back in the saddle again. That's the mud man. You can see how dirty it is. Is there a little bit of bowing on the screen? I don't know. Ignore my nitrogen burn. I have no idea how I got a nitrogen burn on my hand. Anyways, uh, so the laggy buttons, that's what we're calling them. The buttons are laggy. We're going to use the word laggy. Maybe it's not the best word to describe the buttons, but that's what most people are using to describe these the buttons. My wife is using the, the uh, DWH 5600 right now. I'll ask her what she thinks about the buttons, whether she would describe them as laggy. Denise is enjoying wearing the, the DWH 5600. You know, I catch her wearing it a lot. Outside of working out, you know, she wears it to work out, but just wearing it around the house. And she does have one of those G-Shocks for chicks, like the GAS 2100, whatever it is. I forget what it's called. It's gold. But, uh, you know, I'm going to send the range man back for warranty repair. I'm going to... Uh, you have this watch series getting back to my two, two, oh wait, don't look at my nitrogen burn. The two watch series, the wearing in series, the Mudman GW9500, that's my work watch. And, you know, my days off watch and the watch I wear to the gym will be the GBDH2000, which has had the software update. So now it has the trekking feature and the laggy buttons. Well, I just have the dumb dee da da song that I sing between button presses and then the anger roar when I press enter. It's just, it's how you have to do it. You have to be deliberate, dim-witted, and slow to run the buttons on, or at least I do. Maybe some of you guys are like so smart that the, for to have accurate button presses, you just resort back to having an average IQ. Me starting off already having, you know, slightly below average IQ, I have to get really dumb to use these, these buttons. No such problem on the Mudman. Very responsive. Let me just show you. Let me just start the compass. Like, how long was that please wait? It didn't say please wait. There was just a brief pause before the, the compass screen popped up. And let me go back. It's just a simple beep, and then it's back to the main screen. These so-called, you know, more advanced watches, you know, how advanced are they? I have to pretend to be an idiot just to use them. And this is my church watch. I saw online that that Casio is G-Shock is releasing a new G-Steel, which looks a lot like this Casio that I just bought, which is the MWQ100. And so I think that I, that I might have to buy it. I might have to try it out. It, lo it looks like a very diminutive watch, very good at fitting under the sleeve. But uh, and don't forget about the official pointer pen. The metal readiness right in the rain with a beastly clip. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. Oh, that 
wasn't good. Hold on. I'm Jim Kincaid. Thanks for watching.